Hello everyone. We are getting ready to cook up a Dutch oven meal. Hopefully you can hear me and the wind isn't blowing out the mic. Tonight on the agenda we are cooking up chicken and rice. Uh, we're going to get the charcoal lit right here. We're going to use uh, 21, 21 briquettes so we can uh, put 7 on the bottom and 14 on top. We don't want to burn the bottom of it. So yeah, let's get that started. Finally got the briquettes lit. Gonna let them burn down a little bit, then get to cooking. Okay, these are the ingredients for tonight's dinner recipe. We've got the chicken breasts, onion mix. We're gonna be using long grain wild rice. Got two boxes there, only gonna be using one seasoning packet because we got other seasonings. We're gonna be putting some chicken broth, cream mushroom and some water and we'll tell you the quantities as we get going. All right I'm putting in a can of chicken broth. You're doing a can of the cream of mushroom soup and then a can of water and you just mix those all together. Okay we just uh, I guess ended up using only one box we only need one cup of rice so we went and mixed the seasoning in there already and in this pot is where the chicken broth cream of mushroom soup and one can water is mixed in We're still waiting for the dutch oven to heat up and we'll get cooking all right first we're going to put down our rice mix one cup of rice sizzling already we might have to take some of those coals off after we get going huh yeah. then we're gonna put some chicken breasts on there three of them one of them is gonna be for the dogs it is Nina's birthday tomorrow for the fourth so we're gonna spoil them a little bit and then on top of the chicken breasts we're gonna put the soup mix the onion soup mix on there smelling good then dump in our mixture that we showed you already. All right. And we're gonna cook for around an hour, but we're gonna, our main goal is to make sure our chicken's done. So I'm gonna put the lid back on here. And then we're gonna put 17 coals on top and leave, I mean 14 coals on top and leave seven on the bottom. Yep, 14 coals on top, seven on the bottom. Okay, it's been about a half hour. We're just gonna do a check to see how it's cooking. Oh yeah, looking good. All right, the chicken's all done. There's the finished product right there. We also forgot to mention, uh, we made some green beans. All we did with those is we cooked those on the grill and just put them in a tin foil container with some oil and salt and pepper. So yeah, we're gonna dish ourselves up and get eaten. All right, there is a look at my plate. Chicken, wild rice, and green beans. It smells and looks really good, but I need to give it the taste test to give 100% feedback to you guys. So let me take a taste and I'll let you know how well it is. How is it? Awesome flavor. Way better than the stuff we made in Mount Shasta when mm. our rice was undercooked. <laughs> um, this one is really good. Good recipe. Yeah. Super simple. I'm back here behind the camera. It's really good. <laughs> Chicken's pretty hot. Yeah, so. Got a mouthful. Pretty good. I'd make it again for sure. Yep, definitely another one we do again. We got a storm coming up on the horizon. We could use a nice storm. Things are kind of dry out here the past week or two. But yeah, guys, good meal. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.